Hello and uh, good afternoon to you car buyers. I'm Neil, the proprietor of Bath Cars, and today's car is the Audi A3. This is an S-Reg car, it's 1998. It's the 1 1.6 petrol engine with the SE specification. It's a three-door, five-speed manual car. Uh, right, just walking around the car then. Uh, obviously, you know, 13, 14 years old. Seen a bit of action here and there, but relatively straight and tidy, actually. It's just the bumpers that let it down. Uh, there is some paint flaking off the bumpers and uh, the alloy wheels are in pretty good condition the flanks of the cars are pretty straight and tidy a little bit of um, rubbing will get some of these uh, little marks off of the car quite happily the front bumper's got uh, a little bit of paint flaking off of it as well but the front uh, leading edge of the bonnet actually is relatively stone chip free and uh, there is a splash of tax on the car till the end of next year and the windscreen's all clean and tidy and the lines are okay. It does have, though, a very nice interior, actually, a very smart interior. It's the Alcantara spec interior, which I should imagine was uh, along the lines of the price of a, uh, of a leather interior. The um, boot space is in pretty tidy condition as well. And there's a Panasonic six-disc CD player in the back here. There we go. Six-disc CD player with the subwoofer sound system as well. So it's got the upgraded hi-fi. Okay, the spare wheel is in the back and the tool rolling kit is there as well. It's an alloy spare, it's inflated and there's some tread on the tyre there as well. Okay, heated rear screen, high level brake light, rear wash wiper. Let's run around the tyres. So we've got alloy tyres, alloy wheels even, Eagle tyre on the back here and uh, he's in sort of half wear condition and the alloys are showing some sweating there on that one. A bit of uh, corrosion. This one here, about half worn again. Car drives really well, starts on the button, clutch is perfect. Don't think the aircon's working, but then again, not many air conditioning systems work at 15 years old. Might just need a splash of gas in there. We do keep some gas, so we, we can always do that for you when you're here, see if it charges up. Uh, that tyre there, he's about half worn as well. And this one here is a good year, and he's about half worn as well. Actually, a bit worse than half worn. Let's say 60-70% worn. Okay, we've got some history, so we'll go and have a look at that a moment. Okay, welcome to the history and documents then for this Audi A3. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the V5 showing four keepers in total. And the last change of ownership was uh, in January 2012. And this belonged to a uh, Chinese student of Bath University. And he was returning back home and we just cash purchased it from him. But uh, I like the way it drives. The clutch is nice and light. And there is the V5. We've got a uh, spare key and also the little plastic key as well. So there are three keys in total. Uh, it's got MOT until the 31st of October 2012. And service history wise, it's very impressive actually. Lovely service history running right the way through. Full main dealer history up to 36k on that page. And main dealer history up to about 60 on this page. And then it goes on to sort of local repair guys. Of which uh, I know these quite well actually. That was Mark McCall and uh, John Dayton, Station Garage, Lintley Stoke, just along the road from me. 88k, 96k, and then there's a service done in 20, sorry, 29th, 27th, 2011, 113,000 miles. And that service was a nice big lumpy service actually. So whoever buys the car is going to get the benefit of this service here, which done 113k. And there was a timing belt done and tensioners and water pump and uh, other bits and bobs in the service and that came to about 662 pounds 662 quid so nice big lumpy bill there and uh, it says page 18 so let's just move on to page 18 not quite sure why why it's been stamped on page 18 well, here we go look uh, cabin filter fuel filter cam belt kit was done at 68k uh, according to this, Babylon and Bath, 96. And uh, full service at 105 as well there. So there's no shortage of stamps and uh, service history on this car, which is great news. So there we go then. Nice big history. Let's return back. Okay. Right, welcome back then. So a little bit of corrosion on the roof here. It's not that bad, but uh, it's there. Not really going to be an issue for a car of this sort of age, to be fair. Doors open and close fine. The remote locking's working. In fact, there are two keys with the cars you've just seen. Let's double check that. Yep, so that remote's working. The lights flash as they should. Tinted glass. 
I think the passenger side window's got some trouble with it. Uh, it's just got to be helped up manually, but uh, I think it's pretty much okay. The car shows 127742 miles. Uh, airbag light goes out fine, ABS light goes out fine. Car starts on the button, starts most perfect. Uh, CD player, as I say, it's in the boot there. We've got radio and uh, that's all seems to be working fine. This the the um, CD player. There are uh, yeah, some, just some insurance bits and bobs here. Owner's manuals. But this uh, Alcantara interior is actually very tidy indeed. It's really quite clean car in here. Sports steering wheel, leather steering wheel, auto dipping rear view mirror. I don't think it's got auto wipers, but certainly got auto dipping rear view mirror. It's got the cruise control as well. As I say, the clutch and the gear change is all spot on. Very light clutch pedal indeed. Really super light clutch pedal. It must have had a clutch at some point. Normally they go stiff modern cars nowadays. With electric mirrors, are they working? They are working, so electric mirrors work, and the driver's side window's working fine as well. Okay, so yes, dead tidy interior. That aircon's not working, it's not blowing cold, but the heaters and the blower fan's working fine. She's idling over perfectly, it has had a cam belt, it's got a nice image Audi. Just a shame about the bumpers being a little scra scratched and scraped, a little bit of damage to the bottom balance there. Right you are then, so thanks very much for watching the video clip and uh, what is a tidy car inside, not a bad uh, spec at all really, in its day it would have been a lot of money and uh, we'll leave it at that, thanks for watching, bye bye.